Excellent. Just wanted to make sure that everybody's good to go. Now, before we get started with our class, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but I know we had some new friends join in. So if you guys would grab a couple pillows, you're going to need about two or three pillows. All right. Uh, Cause we're going to use those to jump over today in part of, uh, as part of our plyometrics training, which is a uh, jump training. So we can strengthen our legs, which is really important. All right. If we're going to do martial arts, especially if your base martial art is Taekwondo, a lot of that involves kicking. So we want to have nice, strong, powerful legs so we can do awesome kicks and high jumps and basically just look really awesome in general. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. But I want to get our heads in the right place. Okay. So I want to talk about something that we, we talk about in our Taekwondo school. All right. We talk a lot about self-control. Self-control is our tenant, one of our tenets of Taekwondo, but it's also a way that we uh, set our minds right. All right, so I want everybody to repeat after me. Everybody go, set. Just like this, and we're going to put our feet together, hands by our side. All right, I want you guys to say self-control. Discipline, and you guys do the hands with me. Discipline in mind and body. All right, and that's really, really important. We want to make sure that we have that discipline. Look, I know a lot of us, you know, we're stuck at home and we're not able to go to school. So we've got to have that self-control and that discipline in these trying times, all right? One of the ways that we have self-control uh, with our mind, all right, uh, we got to make sure that we're, that we're focused. We've got a mindset of like when things get hard, all right? Because I know I'm a champion. I hope you guys are champions. Champions don't give up. They turn it up, especially when it gets hard. So we're going to turn it up in this workout. Everybody say yes, sir. All right. Second thing. All right. We got to talk about our body. Who's got a schedule? Who goes to school? Who does their chores? Who has their schedule for their Taekwondo or, or their martial arts classes? Guys, that schedule is important. So that's how we have discipline in mind and body. We've got a great attitude. All right. We keep that schedule and we work hard and we're disciplined. Everybody say yes, sir. All right, guys, let's get to work. Everybody. Can you guys see me? All right. I'm kind of backing up a little bit. All right. Very good. Everybody step position. Yes, sir. Excellent job. All right. Let's start running in place. Let's pick up those knees. All right, and we're gonna get our heart rate moving, okay? We're gonna get our, our blood pumping a little bit. We're gonna get moving, because we're gonna have a really, really awesome workout today. Now, remember what I said about our mindset, okay? How champions think, all right? They don't give up, they turn it up. All right, let's pick up those knees a little bit faster. Good, stay light up on your, on your feet, like up on the balls of your feet. Excellent job. Who's got their knees up nice and high? Let me see. All right, I'm coming up to the screen. I wanna see who's got their knees up high. Excellent job. All right, let's switch it to jumping jacks. Go straight to jumping jacks. Excellent work, everybody. Ooh, I see lots of great jumping jacks. I see some of you guys are training with a teammate. That's awesome, guys. Let's see here. Let's see. You guys keep doing those jumping jacks. Keep doing those jumping jacks. Oh, man, we've almost got 50 people in our class. That's awesome. I love it. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and time. Very good. All right. Now remember our friends, we talked about grabbing some pillows. You're gonna need one pillow for this next warm up exercise, okay? So you're gonna take your pillow, you're gonna put it on the ground right there, okay? And we're gonna do something called a punch jump, all right? Punch jump is really, really simple. All we're going to do is we're gonna stand up, we're gonna come up to the target, just like this, bring our feet together, we're gonna bring up our knees super high and we're gonna jump over the target. It's gonna look like this. Boom, just like that, all right? And then we're gonna run back. And we're gonna do it again. Come up, boom, and then explode over. And then come back, just like that. All right, let me see you guys hopping over those targets, all right? Ready and go. Nice, remember, bringing those knees up nice and high. That's important, let me turn this way so you guys can see. Those knees want to come up. Excellent. Explode. Very good. Let me see who's got good jumps. Oh, nice job, everybody. You guys are rocking. I love it. Good. Now, when you do this jump, a couple of details to think about. I want you to think about pushing off, all right, with the ball of your foot and pushing your toes so they point towards the ground. That explosion is really, really important, okay? If you jump flat footed, all right, you're not gonna be able to jump as high. So you've gotta explode up, push those toes to the ground and bring those knees up nice and high. That's gonna engage your calf muscle and make sure that you're jumping super high. All right, everybody freeze, nice job. All right, that was good for level one. Now get your second pillow. 
We're going to stack it up. We got to jump higher now. There we go. Oh, I see teamwork. Some of you guys are consolidating your pillows. I love it. Okay. All right, here we go. Coming up. Same thing. Get those knees up higher. Boom. Explode. Let me see you guys. Level two. Popping over these targets. Let me see it. Guys, looking good. Nice job. Now, see if you guys, make sure you're not doing this. All right. Make sure you're not kicking your legs back like, like that. Okay. Bring those knees up to your chest and explode up through those, uh, over that target. There you go, guys. Great job. Looking good. All right, everybody get three more jumps in. Ready? There's one. Good. Every second one, two. One more big jump from everybody. And three. Good job. All right. Who's taking it to level three? I got three pillows. Last time over our, our pad jumps here. Going to come up, explode. Boom. All right. Biggest jumps of the day. All right. We got 30 seconds. Big jumps. Ready and go. Oh, somebody's stacking pool noodles. I love it. I love the challenge. <laughs> Excellent job, guys. Oh, very good. Somebody's jumping over a panda. This poor panda. I hope he's okay. Don't hurt the panda. Nice job, guys. Excellent, excellent work. We've got a little less than 10 seconds. Who's going to explode? Let me see it. Ready? And five, four, three, two, and time. Great job, guys. Hey, give yourself a big round of applause. Great job. Hopefully, you guys have your breathing nice and heavy. You've got that blood moving. All right, and you're warmed up a little bit. Excellent job. Let's take your pillows. We're going to put them back over to the side. Excellent. Let's do a little bit of a cool down stretch real fast, okay? Take a deep breath in. And out. Legs a little bit wider. Let's get those arms all the way up. Reach to the ceiling. And then we're going to reach down and we're going to touch the ground. Trying to put our hands down on the floor just like that. If you can't do that, just try to touch your fingertips. And if you can't do that, just kind of bring your hands down like that. We're going to stretch down. Good. Very good. <laughs> My doggies just came in. All right. And everybody reach up nice and tall. All right, and everybody touch down to your right foot over here on this side, your right foot. Excellent job. Good, try to keep your knee nice and straight. All right, and you're gonna bend at the hips. All right, so like you're folding your body in half, both hands down, touching that leg. Good. And back up one more time. Big inhale and stretch down to the ground. Great job, guys. Excellent work. All right, now last challenge. Okay, we're going to go do a middle, uh, middle stretch again. Let's see how far you can go down. Let's see your best splits or as close as you can get. I'm coming up to the camera so I can see what you guys look like. Nice. <clears throat> All right, now my rule of stretching is it should not feel comfortable, but you should not be in pain. It should be somewhere kind of in the middle there, okay? So that way you're not hurting yourselves. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Wow, we've got 50 people on my guys. Give yourself a big round of applause. We got 50 people doing class today. That's great. Excellent. And then everybody stand up tall for me. Yes, sir. Guys, great job today. All right. Now, everybody feet together, hands by your side for me. Yes, sir. All right. Now, this is a hyper pro style workout. Now, what that means is, is that if you guys notice, I'm not wearing my full uniform. I've got my martial arts pants on. I've got my hyper shirt on. It's a little bit more of a casual, relaxed workout, but we still want to make sure that we're being respectful, all right? So we're going to put our feet together, hands by our side, and we're going to do a bow-in. I know some of our schools, uh, you know, around the country, they have different bow-ins, so we're just going to bow. All right, is everybody feet together and bow. Excellent job. Now that's going to be the official start of our class, okay? All right, so we're going to work on a couple of concepts today. We're going to work on some kicking concepts. We've got a block and, uh, and uh, strike combo that we're going to do. And we've got a fight combo that we're going to do as well. And we're going to have some fun with that. So we've got three main elements that we're going to work on in our workout today, okay? First thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about kicking. And we're going to talk about the crescent kick today. Everybody say crescent kick, sir. Excellent job, okay? Now, our crescent kick, we're going to make a big circle and make a big arc with our foot, okay? All right. Hey, doggy, y'all go over there. Go over there. All right. Go, go, go. There we go. All right. Excellent. So we're going to make a big arc with our foot. So the first thing we're going to do, I want everybody to sit down on the ground. And I think all of you guys can see me from this angle. Very good. You're going to take your hands, kind of put them behind you like this. All right. I'm going to take one foot and just tuck it underneath. Now I want you guys to practice making your rainbow or your big arc with your foot like you would do a crescent kick. 
Now you're going to strike with the outside part of your foot and that's the pinky toe edge of your foot. Okay. Not your pinky toe, but this edge right here. Okay. So you guys practice that making big arcs with your foot. Okay. Now a couple things that I see when people are working on their crescent kicks is they'll bring their legs straight up from the middle and then kind of bring it back like that. Okay. We want to do a big circle. So we want to start our foot on this side and go all the way across like a rainbow going across the sky. That's what we're looking for, okay? Excellent job. Switch that leg, and now let's try it with the other leg, okay? Starting on this side, bringing it all the way across. Very good. Bring it across your body, all the way across. Nice job. Now, I'm a big fan of practicing a kick, and you can do this with all kinds of kicks. You can do it with a front kick. You can do it on the side of your body with a side kick, all right? But this, when you go to the ground like this, it takes away the element of balance, all right? And then when you stand up and you practice your kicks, then you can start incorporating your balance as well. All right, everybody stand up tall for me, yes sir? So that's our crescent kick, okay? Now, I'm gonna set a couple of levels for you guys, okay? Everybody put your hands on your waist or where your belt is, okay? Everybody say level one. Excellent, all right, everybody put your hands in the middle of your chest. Everybody say level two. Good, now put your hands right on your face like this. Everybody say level three. You guys look silly with your, putting your hand on your face like that, all right? Everybody put your hand on the top of your head. Say level four. Good. Now everybody put your hand up nice and high and say level five. Excellent. Let's review. Everybody, level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. Excellent. Okay. Those are our height levels that we're going to use to determine where we aim our kicks. Okay. So a level one crescent kick would be right here at my waist. A level two would be at my chest. A level three would be at my face. A level four would be at the top of my head, and then a level five would be fingertips. That might be kind of hard to do a regular, so we might have to do some sort of jump kick to do that, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? And some of you guys are a lot younger than I am. I'm getting kind of old, so my leg doesn't go up as high as it used to when I was 20 years old, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. Let's work on some level three kicks. So if you remember, level three is gonna be right at our face level. So everybody sparring stand. Excellent job. Now we're going to do that back leg outside crescent kick. So remember how we brought it across our body and we made that big arc. We're going to do the exact same thing, but standing up on our feet. So our hands are up for balance and protection. You're going to turn your hips and you're going to throw that big crescent kick across your body. Okay, ready? Sparring stance. Ayah! On my count, let's rock them. Ready? And one. Good crescent kicks, guys. Remember, turn those hips. The hips are the key. That's how we're going to get our power, okay? Ready, two, turn the hips, hey, kick. Good, trying to go level three, try about, about the same height as your face, okay? Ready, and three. Excellent job, guys, those look really good. And four. Nice, and five. Great job, everybody hop switch. <clears throat> now we're gonna use our other foot, okay? So remember, we're gonna turn our hips, bring the foot across our body, and then make a giant circle, all right? Make that big rainbow arc, all right? Ready, and one. Good, nice path coming all the way across. And two. Good. Now, one thing, don't let your hands go wild. You don't want to kick like this. Okay, keep those hands in front of your body. Keep those elbows in tight to make a shield in front of your body to be able to protect yourself. That's important. Ready, three. Very good, guys. And four. All right, last one. Make it your best one. And five. Nice work, everybody. Great job. Hey, come up here. Give me a virtual high five. Boom. Excellent. Don't, don't knock the camera over. Don't knock the camera over, okay? All right, guys. Now, let's take it up to level four this time, okay? Level four is going to be head high. Now, instead of me counting them out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a timer, all right? We're going to go about 30 seconds on each side, and your job, do really good technique, but I want to see you guys bring that crescent kick to the top of your head. If you can't go to the top of your head, just go as high as you can, okay? Remember, everybody's martial arts journey is a little bit different, okay? So if you can't kick as high as your head yet, don't worry about it. Remember, I said yet. Keep practicing. Keep training. Remember, champions don't give up. They turn it up. So we got to have that positive mindset, okay? Everybody, sparring stands. All right, here we go. I'm going to set my timer. We're going to do 30 seconds on one leg. And go. Bring that kick up nice and high. Let me see you guys. I'm coming up to the camera so I can see how high you're kicking. Nice. Guys, just so you know, we have 53 people training today. That is awesome. You guys, remember, keep those hands up. Get that leg up nice and high. 
You guys are halfway done on this leg. Remember, trying to get head high, maybe a little higher. Maybe it's going to be a little bit lower, but I want you guys trying your best, no matter what that level is. Very good. You guys are looking awesome. I love it. And the right freeze. Let's switch legs. 30 seconds on the other leg. And go. Remember, trying to get that leg high, as high as your head, as high as the top of your head. Excellent. I'm going to change page. We've got three pages of participants. Man, I'm running out of room. I need to get, I need more, be able to see everybody. Let's see if I can, there we go. I, I want to I see more people. See if I can change that. There we go. Good. Guys, y'all are rocking right now. Guys, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And everybody freeze. Nice job, everybody. Give yourself a big round of applause. Great work. All right, now let's change it up a little bit. We're gonna work on the spin crescent kick. Now, if you've never done a spin crescent kick before, that's okay. We're gonna try to learn it real fast. If you can't do it, you can just do a regular crescent kick, okay? But our spin crescent kick looks like this. So from our sparring stance, all right, the leg that's away from the camera is gonna do the kick. We're gonna turn towards our back leg, okay? All right, now see, this would be towards my front leg. We're gonna turn towards my back leg, and I'm gonna try to look at the camera over my shoulder. Okay, or look at the screen, I guess, would be the best way to look at it. So I'm going to look at my screen over my shoulder. I'm going to turn my foot and then make that big crescent kick come right to the front of the screen, just like you did, okay? So we're going to try that with a spin crescent kick this time. We're ready, sparring hands. Oh, yeah. So let's go over one more time. Take your head, turn it to over the shoulder that's away from the, the screen. Good, look over. Notice I just kind of moved my foot a little bit. Now I'm going to do a big crescent kick just like that. Remember, if you can't do a spin crescent kick, just do a regular crescent kick, okay? It's okay if you don't know this kick, all right? But if you can do it, let's rock it. Race, Barney's hands, Aya. All right, I wanna see your best spin crescent kicks. All right, I'm gonna say go. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side of regular spin crescent kicks, okay? And go. All right, ready? We're gonna look over our shoulder, turn our body, big spin crescent kick. Good, very good. Turn your head over your shoulder, look at the screen, big spin crescent kick. Nice. Now, while you guys are kicking, you may notice some of your kicks may be going like this and they're kind of dropping in front. Try to turn your body a little bit more so your head is facing the screen before you do your kick and that'll help you get it around. Five more seconds on this side, guys. Y'all are doing awesome. Don't kick the person working out with you. Make sure you're being a good neighbor. All right, everybody freeze. Let's do it on the other side, okay? Other leg and go. Over and big kick. Good. So from this sparring stance, remember, over your back shoulder, turn your head and your body so you can see the screen, and then big spin crescent kick. Some of you guys are rocking these kicks. I love it. Excellent. Guys, y'all are rock stars. I love it. You know why you're rock stars? Because it's Friday, and you're out here working hard, and that's what it's all about right now. We're stuck at home, but that doesn't mean we're stuck not doing martial arts. I love it. And a right freeze for me. Yes, sir? All right, guys, last one we're going to do, okay? We've got a jump spin crescent kick. Now, you guys remember that level five that I talked about? That fingertips up here? That's what we're going to try to do to get our level five kick. So from our sparring stance, you're going to turn over your shoulder. You're going to jump up with both legs. Now, you guys remember those jumps that we did over the pillows? There's a reason why we did those, okay? Because that's very similar to the takeoff on a jump spin crescent kick. We're going to use both legs coming together. We're going to push with the balls of our feet. We're gonna engage our calves to get maximum height. When we do a jump spin crescent kick, it's the exact same thing. So we're right here. We're gonna jump up with both feet and we're gonna push. Now notice, if you guys can see my feet, I'm gonna point my toes. All right, that's gonna help me get maximum height, okay? I was, uh, I was born with the, uh, the no jump gene, all right? So I've had to try to develop my legs to be able to jump up nice and high, okay? And you guys can do the exact same thing. All right, but you got to keep trying hard. Here we go. Sparring stance. Aya. All right, pick your favorite leg. We're only doing 30 seconds total of the jump spin crescent kick, okay? If you can't do it, just do a regular or, or a – you can just do a regular jump crescent kick just like that if you'd like to give that a try, okay? But let's try this jump spin crescent kick. We got 30 seconds. Ready and go. All right, here we go. Boom. Let me see those big jump spin crescent kicks. I want to see you guys. Oh, you guys are rocking. I love it. Oh, man. You guys are going total beast mode on this kick. I love it. You guys are rock stars. Uh-oh, somebody fell down. That's right. We get back up. 
Hey, when we fall down, we get right back up. That's what we do. Excellent. We've got five more seconds. Let's finish strong. And time. Nice job. Give yourselves a big round of applause. All right, fist bump into the camera. Three, two, one. Boop. Nice. Great job, guys. Great job. Okay. Now, we've got one quick drill for you guys. Okay, so everybody show me set position. Feet together, hands by your side. Excellent. Okay. Now, I want you to show me a high block. You're going to step forward and high block. Good. And now you're going to punch just like that. Good. Now we'll go to this side. High block. And watch how I turn my hips. I'm just going to go over here and then punch. Good. Now I'm going to do a high block. And then I'm going to punch over here. And then my punching hand does a high block. And I'm going to punch over here. All right. So really simple. All I'm doing is kind of going towards the corner with my high block. And then I'm turning my hips to punch. And then I'm going to do my high block over here. And I'm going to turn my hips to punch. Okay. 30 seconds. We're going hardcore high block punch. Now this is a hip turn drill. I want you guys to see this. Okay. So when I do my high block, I want to turn my hips hard. Now notice my pivot. I'm going to turn my body and I'm going to pop my feet into the ground just like that. And I'm going to do my high block over here. And then I'm going to punch nice and strong. We got 30 seconds of high block punch. I want sweat dripping off of you when we're done because we're going hardcore on this drill. Are you guys ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Oh, wait, I forgot you're muted, but I can still hear you, okay? All right, guys, I can see the intensity in your voices, in your faces. I love it, okay? Here we go. Ready? And go. We're going to do high block and then our punch. And then high block, boom. High block, boom. Let me see you guys turn those hips. Bah. Bah. Guys, I love it. Let me see that intensity. High block and then punch strong. High block, punch strong. There we go. Let me see that pop. Will we use our hips? That's how we get energy in all of our moves. I love it, guys. Y'all are going rock solid. I love it. We got five more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and time. Oh, my goodness. Woo, guys, I am sweating. I don't know about you guys, but that means we're getting an awesome workout in, and I absolutely love it, okay? All right, let's see here. We've got one more drill that we're going to do, all right? So we're going to do a jab, cross, hook combination, but we're going to work on a couple details. And then we're going to work on directionally how to work that, okay, with a little bit of footwork, all right? So everybody set position, yes, sir? And everybody bow. And everybody show me your sparring stance. Yeah. Very good, very good. Now, one thing, make sure those elbows aren't flaring out. we got to keep those elbows in to make that shield in front of our body. That's so important, guys. Don't forget that. All right, now, our jab is going to be our punch with our front hand, okay? So if my left leg is closest to this, the screen, that's the hand that I'm going to punch with. So left leg in front, left hand is going to punch, okay? So keep that elbow in tight, and we're going to shoot that jab out, and we're going to bring it back, okay? So if you're looking for some advanced stuff to work on, all right, so maybe this is just enough, and that's great. You can just do that. But if you want to focus on keeping this other hand up here, and then also tucking your chin underneath your shoulder to protect that jawline, you can do that as well, okay? So this might be good for you. This might be good for you, or this right here, so we protect that jaw. That's important, okay? So everybody sparring stance, ay -ah. Let's do some jabs on my count, all right? Ready, and one, ay -ah. Let me hear that loud yell, ready, two, ay -ah. And three, ay -ah. And four, ay -ah. And five, ay -ah. Everybody hop switch, ay -ah. You guys are looking strong, I love it, okay? Again, uh, we're gonna use the same, uh, the other hand, all right, but it's still gonna be that jab, okay? Remember bringing the hand up, protecting, Tucking under the shoulder if you need an advanced level. All right, ready? And one, two, three, four, and five. Nice job. Everybody hop switch. All right, now let's add the cross. So we've got our front hand jab protecting here. Now when we do our cross, we're going to switch our hands. We're going to turn our hips. Boom, I'm going to protect here. I'm going to tuck my jaw here, and I'm going to punch with that cross. Now notice how my body turned. So I'm pointing my belly button at my target. That's going to give me more power, all right? Remember, the jab, we always think about speed, okay? We want to just, so we we'll throw that quick jab. That cross has a little bit more power because we use our whole body, okay? So let's see it right here, right? Sparring stance. Yeah. Let's see the jab cross. Ready? And one. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. And five. Yeah, nice job, guys. Y'all look awesome. Everybody have switch. Yeah. All right, here we go on this side. Ready? And one. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Last 
last one, make it your best one. And bow. Yeah. Nice job, everybody. Hop switch. Let's add one more element. We're going to add the hook punch to this, okay? So we've got our front hand jab. We've got our back hand cross. Now from here, we're loaded up and we're ready to turn our hips to throw this, uh, this hook punch, okay? So from our cross, all we're going to do is just lay our hand down. We want this all to be nice and flat and level, all right? I want to keep my wrist straight. That's really important, okay? I want to bring this hand back and I'm going to turn my hips. All right, now notice my belly button is pointing towards the camera. Now when I turn, my belly button's gonna point to the side, away from the camera like that, okay? So let's do all three. Everybody show me a jab. Everybody show me a cross. Everybody turn those hips. Let me see that hook punch, very good. Remember, the hook punch is, is, isn't just shoulders. A lot of people just try to go like that. But look, my body didn't move. Guys, turn that body to get that power on that hook punch. Let's do it. Ready, jab, cross, and hook. Very good, everybody. All right, guys, y'all ready to rock it? Here we go, let's drill this. All right, raise Sparky's hands. Yeah. And one, jab, cross, hook. Nice, everybody. And two, jab, cross, hook. Good, don't forget to bring that other hand back to your face to protect your jaw, okay? Ready, three, jab, cross, hook. Good, and four, jab, cross, hook. Last one on this side, make it your best one. And five, jab, cross, hook. Everybody hop switch, yeah. Now what's cool is you can also play with levels on this. So you could go jab to the nose, cross the nose, Hook to the body like that. If you wanted to change it up and try to open up something right here. Because you know, anytime we change levels, if we go high to low, maybe high to middle, hands are gonna start moving to block. If we go high, high, it'll open up the low and we can really get the hook punch. All right, maybe get that liver punch. That's good stuff right there. Okay, here we go. All right, jab, cross, hook on my count. Ready, and one, jab, cross, hook. Good. And two, jab, cross, hook. Good, and three, jab, cross, hook. And four, jab, cross, hook. Last one, make it your best one, and five, jab, cross, hook. Nice work, everybody. Okay, we got two minutes left in our workout, so we're gonna play a little game to kind of to finish up nice and strong, okay? So everybody face your, uh, your screen. All right, everybody say one. Good, now we're gonna turn this way. Everybody say two. Good, now turn away from the camera. Everybody say three. Good, now everybody turn this way to the side. Everybody say four. And then back to the front is one. Good, everybody got that? So let's practice, make sure. Everybody show me one. Where is this? I got one, two, three, four. All right, did I say one towards the camera? One was to the side? All right, very good. All right, here we go. We're gonna reset. Let's reset this, all right? I got excited, all right? Everybody say one, two, three, four. And then one is back to the camera. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Three, two, one, four. One, three, one, two, four, one. You guys got it? Excellent, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this last minute. We're gonna do the jab cross hook, but when I call out a number, you gotta do jab cross hook towards that direction, okay? So if I say one, you gotta go jab cross hook. If I say two, jab cross hook. Three, jab cross hook. Four, jab cross hook. One, jab, cross, hook. You guys got it? All right, so let's play. Raise firing scenes. Ay All right, ready, and two. Ay Three. Ay Four. Ay One. Ay Everybody hop and switch your feet. Ay All right, here we go. And four. Ay Three. Ay Two. Ay And one. All right, you guys wanna play the bonus round? If we're on that number, so this is one facing the camera. If I say one, you've gotta do a 360 spin and then throw the jab cross hook. Can you guys, are you guys up to that challenge? All right, this is our last activity before our class is done, so let's rock it. Here we go, Sparky Sins, ay All right, ready, and two. One. 
One, four, three, four, one, four, four, two, seven, twelve, thirty-six, and time. We are done, guys. Great job, everybody. Hey, give yourselves a big round of applause. You guys rock this workout. Nice work, nice everybody. work, everybody. Wow, Mr. Nevels, this was so much fun. Hey, guys, give thumbs up if uh, you had lots of fun. This was amazing. Yes, look at all the thumbs. Mr. Nevels, I don't know if you know this, but we have over 60 students. What? Over, that's, that's one of the biggest seminars. How cool is that? Wow. I mean, can, can you blame them? We had such a good time today. I can't, I can't blame them for tuning in. I had such, such, so much fun, guys. Thank y'all for joining. Absolutely. All right, listen up, team. It is not possible for me to uh, scroll through all the, you know, all your, um, uh, all the thumbnails to see who raised the hand up. If you have a question, let's take five minutes and type your question into the chat box, and Mr. Nevels will be able to answer that. Okay? Or if Absolutely. you don't know use the raise hand feature, raise your hand, and I'm gonna unmute you. I see that somebody's already raising a hand. Nicholas, I'm going to unmute you. Nicholas, what is your question? How many belt tests have you failed? Uh, I have failed two belt tests in my life. So I and failed for my what first... reason? Good question. So my first one was for sparring when I tested for my third degree black belt. And then when I was testing for fourth degree senior, I didn't break one of my boards. So it was my jump spin sidekick. And you know why? I'll tell you exactly why I failed that test. Because my instructor said, hey, do you need to practice board breaking? And I said, nah, I'm good. I got that. I always break my boards. And so I did not properly pre prepare and train for that test. And guess what? I failed. And you know what? You know what stinks? After my belt testing was over, I got one of my friends to hold the board and I broke it first try. And so it was lack of preparation. Okay. So that's why it's so important to listen to your instructor when they say practice this. And even if you're like, oh, no. I've done that a million times. I got it. Okay. There's a reason why they ask you to do stuff. It's just not because we're looking for busy work to give you. It's because we want you to be prepared for anything. Great question. Great question there, Nicholas. Okay. Uh, Sarah and Sophia Osorio, what is your question? Um, how old were you when you started doing martial arts? Great question. So um, I've actually done martial arts three different times in my life. When I first did Taekwondo, I was nine years old. And that was back when I lived in Mississippi. All right. And uh, it was really cool. And then, you know, I wound up uh, not doing it because we moved to Texas. And then I tried another school and I made it to Yellow Belt that second time. And it really wasn't my favorite school. And then I found another school after I graduated high school. And actually, that's where I met Mr. Strickland was when I was training at that school a long, long time ago. It was like almost 20 years ago. <laughs> and, and that's where we met. And I've been doing martial arts ever since. Did something there. Well, you lost. All right. Anybody else have any, any more questions? That was a really good, I see a couple of hands up and uh, Mr. Spikar is gonna kind of run. Mr. Spikar, is it stuck? All right, anybody else? Uh Asking a question, Miss, uh, Miss Warren, what is your question? Um, uh, we don't have a we question, don't have a question. But thank you for doing the classes on Zoom so that we can have Taekwondo. How cool is that, guys? How cool is that? Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. awesome. Uh, do we have a question in the chat? Is there a question? Is Carity your dreams a kid? So here's what I'll, uh, here's what I'll say is that oh, right. I, 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 dude, I was all over Mr. Spycar. I, I, I'm, I'm not the world's best speller, so I was able to interpret that one. Uh, so um, so if, I, if I had to say, so I was a big fan of like uh, Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. So that kind of inspired me. I wanted to be a ninja. So um, as far as like a dream, I always wanted to be a black belt. And in 2004, I actually earned my black belt, which was a lifelong dream. And then I decided that I wanted to share what I had learned with other people. And I became an instructor. And then I did that for a long time. And then I wanted to own a school so I could share it with even more people. And now I own two schools and we're able to share that uh, with even more people. So 
My goal is to share martial arts with as many people in the world. That's really my dream is to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to learn and grow through martial arts. So that's a really good question. All right. All right. So all right, team, do we have more questions? All right. We've got a young man. Let's see here. Uh, Oliver. Oliver. Uh, hold on. Let Mr. Spycar unmute you. He's had his hand up. Oliver, Oliver, let me find out. Oliver Lotman? Yeah, that's him. Okay, Oliver, what is your question? What rank are you in black belt? Great question. So I just earned my six degree black belt in February. So I just took a belt testing and it was a really, really hard test. I had to do a bunch of push-ups and sit-ups and I ran, uh, I ran a 10K, which is like, almost seven miles and then I ran a mile and a half and then I did like six forms and a bunch of sparring and broke boards. I actually did something I've never done before. I did a six board sidekick break. So that was really cool. I enjoyed that. But I, I, I just tested just like you guys test. Super cool. Super cool. Uh, I saw a question in the chat. When is uh, Mr. Nelson's seminar? It's going to be on the 15th. Okay. Next week on the 15th. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Next. Okay. On okay, Monday, we have uh, Mr. Vincent from Baton Rouge. I see that, Mr. Nevels. You, you broke a sweat there. Look at this. You guys that? made me work hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, questions are over. We don't have uh, any more time. Thank you, everybody, for uh, coming out. You guys did fantastic. How about we bow out like a black belt with awesome attitude? All right, keep everybody it. hands out like this. All right, Mr. Nevels, Mr. Uh, Nevels you want to bow us out? Yes, sir. Everybody set. Yes, sir. Everybody bow. Yes, I can. Guys, Excellent job. job. All right, man. team. Thank you, Mr. Nevels. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you for tuning in.